Hi Nan, it's Brianne and this is going to be my favorites for January. These are the products and things that I have been loving and so I'm going to share them with you. You're welcome. So the very first thing, of course, it's January so weight loss is the first thing people think about. It is actually the last thing that I've done though. Um, I've had a pretty good year since May working out on a regular basis and then December and January happened and yeah, I've essentially fallen off the wagon. Yes, <laughs> I am laying on top of the wagon eating bonbons. Not really. I'm eating like toaster strudels. It's terrible. Um, but I picked up a new DVD back at the, I think it was in January. It was at least, or the end of December. This is, if you don't know who she is, I didn't. And she's from YouTube. So I was like living under a rock, I guess. Her name is Casey Ho. Seriously. And this is Pop Pilates. I hate yoga. I think it's boring. I doze off into like, no, I'm not going to do this. Um, this at least keeps me going. Um, she does do reps over and over again forever, which I don't see how anybody could really do all of the reps. But anyways, she's fun to listen to. Um, kind of has a little bit of a YouTube feel to it just in that doesn't feel like it's completely scripted. She says some silly stuff. She says some really weird stuff. I can't even think of anything that she said off the top of my head, but something she said was really funny. I remember that. <laughs> oh, good, good story. Um, I definitely recommend it. Her, I think it's about an hour long DVD, but then it, the way that it's set up the table of contents, you can go in and choose your moves, which is what I've done. Um, cause I don't have an hour to devote to Casey Ho. So that's that. Now this is a pair of sunglasses for those of you who don't have eyeballs. Um, this is them. They're new. I like them. The sun has been at a really weird angle for the past couple months. So even though it's winter, I you definitely need sunglasses. They are like kind of, I don't know, leopardy colors, but then they're just these sparkled the top leopardy. I mean like tiger, I guess. And then white and they're plastic. And I don't know the brand. They're made in China. Shocker. But anyway, uh, got to have a good pair of sunglasses even in the winter. Speaking of winter, I get winter sadness. You may have heard this last year. Um, this is my frankincense. I got this out again already um, for any kind of like seasonal depression or any kind of like gloomy sadness. Today we're having like a blizzard outside, which is fine with me. It's just I haven't been outside to go, you know, outdoors in like weeks. And it's just really hard. And this stuff is awesome and it smells good really good I think and then some people think it doesn't smell good so I brought it to church and shared it with the kids when we were doing um, the story of the wise men so they could smell frankincense and it was like divided half the kids thought it was it smelled really good and half the kids were like no stop it never again um, so that's kind of where we are okay these are fun I wish I should give you an example there are these little scratch and um, scratch off stickers and so what you do is you get a piece of paper like let's say you're sending a card I should have had this planned out but I didn't one moment talk amongst yourselves who should we write a letter to okay here's a post-it note okay and I'm gonna write high noon on it on my paper gotcha then take your sticker you guys are having fun I know it which one do you want to use? This one? Okay, so it looks like this. It says scratch me. Too close. And then there's the back side. You place your sticker over the word. Like so. And then you give it to someone. And then they, later on, will get to scratch it off. I'm very organized. I know where a quarter is. Or a nickel. So then scratch just like a lottery ticket or um yeah i guess that that's who would have scratch offs is the lottery blow it onto the floor boo how cool is that isn't that fun so um we i don't know can you see that we use these on our christmas packages this year and it we did it for white elephant and so if you scratch off it was like good one or like oh you're not gonna be happy or something like that so these are so fun they're by k and c or just k and company i guess is what it's called there we go and they have a lot of different ones i found these at tj maxx for like a dollar fifty and it, i had like a ton of them so i was like good deal there we go 
go find those. Those are fun. Another thing that I bought, I forget when I bought these. I use them in December, I know, because I put them on my mantle, and they're these um, candles. They are flameless. They smell so good. Hold on. <clears throat> Sorry. Bless me. Okay. They smell like vanilla. They will smell up a small room like vanilla, so they smell good. Um, they're come in a pack of six when I bought them. They were at Costco, and I'm sure you can find them on Amazon or on eBay or something like that, something similar to this. They have six of these, so there's two of each one. I didn't bring them all up here with me, but then the coolest part ever, the remote. <laughs> oh, I know it sounds really dorky, but wow, it really comes in handy. So even when they are across the room on a mantle, I can take my little um, remote, boom, and they all went on just then like so okay now I can also turn them off I think I can do it one at a time well there depending on which one you're pointing at and so these are the coolest thing ever they're lightweight they actually have a waxy kind of like if I were to scratch my nail on it it would actually scratch it um, but they're plastic I guess I'm guessing I don't know they're really cool here's the bottom you can turn them on and off and these things definitely recommend they smell so good loving it so those are fun and then you can make little different arrangements with them and everything like that so I normally always recommend a book this book is embarrassing because I have stuff spilled all over it but this is real life people um, this is the book I am currently reading and see this this is gross it was in my bag <laughs> sorry um, so Jen Hatmaker is a really fun author she writes kind of like in blog style um, this particular book is talking about like um, just our consumerism and how it takes over kind of our life and how to de-consumerize our life. And so basically she takes seven categories. Um, the first one was food. And so for example, for four weeks um, or the equivalent of a month, so four weeks, she only is going to eat seven foods. Um, and just kind of to, you know, get back to basics and kind of like a fast in a way of um, focus and that sort of thing to focus on the things that she wants to focus on and so she only ate seven foods then the next month is clothing and she only wears seven articles of clothing and so forth and anyway wow it's been a really cool book to read I actually um, saw it, one of my friends on Facebook was reading it and she had given up coffee and I was like wait if she gave up coffee I need to read this book like something this book is saying something very because she loves coffee anyway great book um, me and Eric have been talking about doing a kind of a variety, kind of a, what do you say? We're not going to do this exact model, but taking this and adapting it to our own needs and situations. So anyway, cool book. Let me know if you're reading it. I normally recommend somebody on Twitter to follow. This month I haven't really been much on Twitter, been on Twitter much either. Um, so I don't have a Twitter person and I normally recommend a YouTuber to watch. And this month I was not big on watching um, new people. I've been watching a lot of, you know, just staying with my current subscriptions and that sort of thing, kind of catching up with everybody. Um, I've been watching Jenny from Candid Mommy for a long time, like before I was even vlogging, I would watch her. Um, and her channel has, I'm sorry, I have a really bad cold, guys. I'm like disgusting. Hello, my name's Brandon, disgusting. Um, her channel's changed a lot because she's changed a lot. She's gone through a lot of like life stuff and been vlogging that and sharing that. And you can just see a huge change in her. Um, not that she wasn't always positive because I think that she wasn't necessarily negative, but you definitely see a change in her happiness and, and that kind of, kind of thing. And so that's really positive to watch. And I really like watching her go through something hard and making good out of it. So if you don't know her, I will link her channel below. If you've been around YouTube and the mommy community for any number of minutes, you probably have seen her. Um, but yeah, definitely check her out. Okay, one of the, I think this is the last thing I have. It is this tea, and it is awesome. I would not have bought this. I got it as like, um, kind of like a gift. But um, rose hip with hibiscus, and I don't normally buy fruity teas. Um, and so that's when it was like given to me. I was like, okay, I'll try it. And it's really good. It's naturally caffeine free. Um, and I like to drink it in a clear cup so I can see the pink. So that's it. Okay, that, my friends, is my favorites for the month. I don't have even, oh, I do have a song. 
I wanted to share with you. See, I always have a song or an app, you guys. Um, if you watch the Super Bowl, which you probably might have, um, U2 is giving away a song, Invisible. I think that that particular deal is over. I did get my free version, um, but the song is called Invisible, and it is a really, really cool song. I really like it. I recommend that you go and purchase it because every download they give money to the red campaign um which is a global fund to fight aids i'm like what is it i forget you've seen it probably around um the gap i think had it for they have stuff like that and target maybe i don't know i don't know their whole campaign all i know is it's a good song and it goes for a good cause and so go get it um okay i will see you guys next month with my favorites <laughs> Bye.